Hello everyone, I'm Finn from Finnbrick42, and today I have in front of me set 70680, Monastery Training. This set retails for $13.99 Canadian and $9.99 American. Looks pretty cool, so let's get into the builds. The main build of the set is this corner piece where you have a punching bag in front of this really nice looking printed 2x4 tile with some symbols on them. I'm not sure what they mean, so if anyone knows the Ninjago language at all, feel free to comment what they mean in the comment section below. On the sides of the small corner piece are two detachable swords, which are about using two pieces. This one's quite new and very nice. comes in a clear plastic package inside the bags with a few other pieces like it. Around the back, you can see some of how this is built and it's actually pretty nice to build. It works very well. It can move a little bit right here since it's on the hinge pieces, but overall when it's lined up it looks really nice and I think it really fits. Next build is this very small stand for Nia's Samurai X armor. This looks very nice and it's quite effective, although it does take a little bit of time to remove the armor from it as you have to actually remove the stand, or the stand's helmet stand. And after you've done that, you're left with the Samurai X armor in red, which looks very nice. I'll get to that in more detail with the minifigures. Right here is a dummy for the ninjas to train by fighting against. It's very nice, and you can actually attach it to this spinning piece right here, just by putting the studs on top and you just place the dummy and that rolls pretty nicely and you can see how the swords are really spinning so you could use it well, if it stays on properly but I guess that's a bonus, it can fall off you can use it to fight the ninjas and they can beat it pretty interesting this right here is another piece of training equipment which spins and has lots of interesting pieces in it you can use the new spinner piece to battle the training equipment. Sorry, I really hit the camera there. But yeah, you can see how it can spin. And the pieces it uses are these quite useful 2x2 two two round pieces but that have holes in the side. So maybe I'll use those for something at some point. And this spinner is actually use, uses two new pieces. One which I'm not sure I'll be able to get off right here because it holds this wheel piece attached. This is just a regular rubber tire right here. But this piece, the black piece that's spinning, is a new piece, as well as the one that connects it to these normal old pieces. The tire is there just so it can get grip when it's rolling around on the table. The rest of it is pretty simple, but I do like the coloring they used. I appreciate getting some of those gold pieces, it's very nice. Right here is Kai, and his new outfit looks very nice. I really like the gold printing on it, especially for the dragons. And here you can see two more of the pieces that come in that little bag, in the bag, with the sort of new accessories. Those are pretty interesting, but a little strange not used to seeing just it fit exactly all the way to the bottom of their hand and no more. But if I rotate the minifig around, you can see how the printing shines quite nicely. And on the back, if you remove his cowl piece, you can see the dragon kind of swirls around his emblem, which I'm guessing that's the emblem for fire, because I think I've seen that one before. And here you can see his alternate face, but I'll show that with the cowl in just a moment. Something that's very nice is how the minifigures have these sort of sandal printings on their feet, which looks pretty interesting. And you can see more wrapping with dark red, and the gold, I just, I really like the gold dragon. It's like the dragon extreme suits from the earlier seasons. That's quite nice. There isn't too much to this row, but I think that really adds to it. It looks quite a lot like the originals, and that's really good. So here's his face with the happy face in the cow. And then if I just rotate the head around, you can see that unhappy face and that looks pretty good it lines up quite nicely actually 
I like that. Next minifigure is Nia with her dark red, light blue color combination. This is kind of interesting because we just left this combination to go to the dark gray, but I guess this is just part of the Legacy series, so that makes a bit of sense. She comes with this quite interesting dual, I'm not entirely sure, scythe or something like that. And that's quite nice, and it uses some more of those new pieces from that bag. And you can see how Nia also has the golden kind of dragon, but just different kind of orientation. And on the back of the torso, it goes by her emblem, which I'm guessing represents water. And you can see the other expression being quite happy, and this one just sort of determined. But I think these are actually different expressions than the ones that are on the Ninjago movie minifigures. So that's quite interesting. You can see Nia also has the sandal printing for the toes, which is nice. And the light blue color going across the legs to show these wrappings. It's quite nice. And this one also does have a sort of classic style to it, which I think really works. And here's the cow with the opposite face. And once again, you can see it lines up very nicely. This is what Nia looks like with her Samurai X outfit. You can see it has the chest plate here, which is like the strong metal in red. And this helmet, which is pretty old helmet by now, actually. And this really nice attachment piece. And for the top, they use a bucket handle, which is a pretty good piece usage. Now I'll just quickly test out this new spinner style and see how it works. So I have Kai spinning around and that's pretty cool actually, knocked it down. Moving the punching bag, it's pretty good. It grips very nicely, especially considering this is a, just a plain flat surface with not too much grip to it. I'd say it works quite well. Yeah, you can control it pretty well. Yeah, I like it. It's a pretty good job. Overall, I'd say that this is a very good set, especially considering how many pieces you get in here and how useful they are. The minifigures are very nice to have, and I think that they did a really good job, especially on that corner build. It was really well made. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day.